guys, it's Renee. Welcome to Monday Money. Well, for this mermaid nail art, we're going to start by applying base coat. I already did that and applied two coats of my beauty secrets. And then I'm going to be using this sample thing that I got at Sally Beauty Supply. It doesn't have a name on it, doesn't have anything. And it's like a green with a grayish undertone. I don't really know how to explain it. But another like dupe that I have for that one is this shiny lace for Audrey. But just try to look for a green that has some gray undertones. I'm choosing this one because I think this one goes better with the Little Mermaid theme that I'm going for. And I'm just going to apply two coats of this one because as you can see it's quite sheer. Then I'm going to be taking this makeup sponge that I bought at the drugstore and I'm going to cut a piece like this. And then this one is going to be giving me some pieces like that. So what I did was took my sponge with my tweezers and then applied some of my Pure Eyes Silver Star. Remove the excess just a bit. Go and just sponge a bit. This is just to create some sort of sparkle effect in there. And I'm now going to be taking my Shine Place the Green one, doing the same thing pretty much. And again, you can make it as pigmented as you want. Then I'm going in with my Pure Eyes Dazzle Me. This is just so they have like sparkle in the background. I feel like my, my background got lost a bit because it's so chunky. I'm just filling in my sponge and kind of making green one come back to life again. Because I want my greens to be like the main thing, not like my sparkle. So Then I'm going in with my white on. Going directly using the brush that comes in the bottle, painting a circle in there. And then going in on the other side, doing the same thing. It doesn't have to be perfect, just so you have a base. But then I'm going to be taking my Sally Hansen, and this is a No Hard Feelings. And I'm going to go on top of that white. And this is the reason why we painted the white in the first place, so this purple would be more like vibrant and then I'm going to be taking my Nina Ultra Pro this is Never Glum Plum a uh, thin brush and the reason why I'm using this this color instead of a black for instance is because I feel like black would be like too harsh and I want this to kind of be the shadow so I'm going in all around the edges first all around once my like edges are covered I'm just going in and add Three lines, same on the other side. I'm gonna clean this brush and I'm going to let it dry. And then I'm going in with my Dazzle Me. I don't want to go too crazy just until it's like sparkly. Or you can always add a rhinestone, but I prefer to just use these things. For this one, I'm going to simply be taking my white on by Sally Hansen and going in with the smaller brush, Gun Tool. And just as many as you want. These are supposed to be bubbles. I'm going to be taking my Sally Girl, the one that doesn't have a name on it. And I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to be taking my small lighting tool and I'm just going to add uh, real, really small dots to just simulate more bubbles in there. Once my green is dried, I'm going to be just taking my white on again and just drawing those just to get the illusion that there are there bubbles. And then last but not least, I'm going to be adding my top coat and I'm using my hardener as always. This is the one that I like using the most because it works fine for me. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time here. If you liked it, don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up, share it with the people you love and subscribe for more stuff. Remember every Monday here a new nail art and Fridays or Saturdays baking and every other week some DIYs. Don't forget to check out my blog. Thank you so much for your time and watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys!